All right, there is new reaction tonight to questionable moves made by the Arizona Cardinals. They just signed a player who was cut from another team because of accusations of domestic violence. Now, all of this comes as the NFL now scrambling to explain why it took the action it did in the case of Baltimore Ravens star Ray Rice, who was seen on video punching his wife in an elevator. Amanda Goodman joining us now live with details about who this new player is, who the cards just signed, Amanda. Well, Brandon, the signing of running back Chris Rainey here to the Cardinals practice squad, raising a lot of eyebrows, especially here at Cup of Karma in Mesa, right behind me, a place where domestic violence victims come to seek resources and also get some refuge. Survivors here say signing a guy like this is a bad move. It's sick. Mary, or simply Mary as she's known, reacting to the news of the Cardinals announcing they signed running back Chris Rainey to their practice squad. I'm a survivor and I ended up 3,000 miles from my children, my family, struggling to find a job. You see, Mary is a domestic violence survivor. Rainey is a domestic violence offender. According to ESPN, Rainey was arrested and later pled to two separate domestic violence related charges. Don't you think that they should have a good background, a good history, something worth looking up to? 3TV did reach out to the Cardinals organization this evening, but did not hear back. The NFL recently announced a new domestic violence policy after criticism for the two game suspension handed down to Ray Rice for the now infamous incident involving the former Raven. The stricter policy includes a six game suspension without pay for the first offense and a lifetime ban for the second. The video of the incident leaked yesterday, showing Rice punching his then fiance in the face. Rainey's signing came today. There should be zero tolerance. If it happens once, it's zero tolerance. And now you're talking someone that's done it repeatedly. Mary is now focusing on her music and sharing her story to help others. She says this was a bad move by the Cardinals. What kind of example is that to everyone? Again, Rainey was signed to the Cardinals practice squad. Now, he was released from the Steelers after the second of his two domestic violence arrests. Then he was picked up by the Colts. So the Cardinals, not the only ones signing this guy in spite of his history. Again, survivors here say he should not be playing for anyone. Back to you.